hey, John Rule, everybody got excited about the moon the last few days. And right. these are pictures I made be the uh, night before. On the, the morning of the uh, final day of January, I didn't get any good shots. Well, it looks, looks great to me, Aubrey. But I know a guy who did, and I think he'll probably let us use one of his. Oh, no, that's not. Okay, well, let's, let's see some of these uh, moon shots and move on to other things. It was really spectacular out there. I saw a little part of it, but uh, not the full effect. Yeah, you had to be up late at night, <laughs> and up, up early. early in the morning to, right. to get the full. You just see that thing just sinking, just right. shriveling up. Okay, look here. This was the good news uh, on uh, CNN. Trump uh -huh. leaving White House. See him there? Uh -huh. And a lot of people uh, thank me for it. Uh, pointing that out to them uh, who hadn't seen it mm -hmm. and uh, hadn't actually watched it. But Trump leaving the White House is something a lot of people have been screaming for. Oh, know? I see. So did you get to watch this show? Uh, no, I don't think I did. You missed seeing the, uh -huh. it was on every station there is. I, I see. Okay, this is the, the uh, volunteers have a party every year uh, people who've been volunteering for the park department. Oh, that's great. Whether they're cleaning up the parks or, or any any number of ways well, that's they, they can work in the parks. Is that Mary Ellen there or someone else? Or yeah, the... probably, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to attempt to uh -huh. name everybody in here. No, well. But you can see Mrs. Uh, Cubby's wife sitting there. Mm -hmm. And Covey's kind of hidden. This, oh, this, uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, there's some of the city workers. And uh, they're, they're the, usually the ones wearing the tags hanging right, down yeah. there. Goodly group. Organized. Yeah. And most of the others are volunteers. And, uh -huh. and they that's come from right. various organizations. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of them are on different city committees and, and uh but mainly it's what they've done for the parks. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we have these uh, that's uh, wonderful. guys in, in line. And uh, that, that uh, fellow in the middle there, he uh, sat near me and talked about some of the things. You can see the mayor at the right. Yeah, He's that's in the mayor's cap. Folks. <laughs> and <coughs> these three musicians, don't get treated right. Oh. Well, I'm going to suggest that they have a loudspeaker. Oh, I see. Because you can't hear the music unless you go over there because everybody's talking. Right. You know, well, that's the American way is to talk through everything. Yeah, and they're gr it's great if you go over there and stand and look. Right. But I was trying to get video, so I, I got mm -hmm. uh, uh, about an hour or so of video that's already... I have it on, on the internet, on Facebook, and on the, uh, it's in two parts, I guess, mm -hmm. and um, also on YouTube. Right. So you can watch for that if you're interested in what was said and, and who won what and right. all these things and how they were honored. And uh, so everybody was in line for food when I was making these still photos. Uh-huh. And this was a, quite a nice gathering. And I never got everybody together, but okay, there are two city workers talking there, two men mm -hmm. facing one another. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, they're just all good friends to folks who are like I've been That's over the years. That's quite admirable. There are two good friends. Yeah, there's Lionel <laughs> and Lauren. Hawkins, and here, young lady, uh, she's in a wheelchair, but she is going to volunteer. Well, I'll every, say, that's great. Every year for a long time. Okay, Lisa, Lisa Netherland, Byron, Byron's uh, one of the higher-ups in the uh, park department. Uh-huh. And... Um, 
Yeah, you can see the name tags on some of them, and I can't name them all. Okay, there's quite this, a lot of parks to take care of now. Okay, that's so wonderful. Let's see what's his name. Anyway, that's a very busy family mm -hmm. supporting everything that's good in Fayetteville. And that's another city worker there. She was doing a lot of the work, getting things Looks organized. like a person I used to know by the name Jen. Yeah, you probably do. Duell, Charles Duell. I think I knew him when he was a little child in Fayetteville. Now he's, Isn't that right? he's some kind of uh, yeah, official. Kind of sobering for us. To... A judge of some kind, I think. And there you go, some more happy people. And they always hand out some things to the, uh, well, good food. They had the good food. It was catered right. by one of the well, local groups. Well, that's groups. nice. And they so, rewarded some. Yeah. As I said, this couple are just so strong in their support mm -hmm. of everything good in the city. And these ladies talking, Lisa there at left, she used to work for the city and mm -hmm. she's a volunteer for the city now. Well. Until next time, do your part, help keep the water clean, the air pure. And the woods green. <laughs> See. Amen. John Rule, what's this you brought in today? Well, that is something I nearly tripped over going around the hayfield last night doing my constitutional. Apparently, the uh, white-tailed deer bucks are tossing their horns this early. I didn't know when they actually did that. But this was uh, just freshly tossed and was stuck up by the tines in the, in the dirt. Mm -hmm. uh, he'd been trying to get it off, apparently, and he managed. So, <laughs> well, read I'll, something to us. John. I want to read something about nature. This is a poem uh, written a number of years ago when I realized what I was doing, uh, making everything safe for us by putting out poison for mm. various bugs and things. It's called nimbus, which means an aura or a circle around you. Nimbus, the order that I bring is scarcely what I wish. Cleaning a spring seems harmless until I find two salamanders flipping slowly beneath a stone I, mo I moved. In their fading pain, shoe button eyes and carmine filaments express nothing. My fate is to disturb. A magic radius of death moves with me. I note its passage in the bird that eats the beetles I have poisoned. The bird is dead. <laughs> Man makes a moving desert. All is well. Beneficent, he thinks. I eat with joy those delicate violet brim whose radiant curvettings I admire. Their strength and joy pass into me. Sorrow spices my food. We predators know the world and one another in our ways. I am no gauze-wrapped Jane, refusing to extend the gift of pain. Now, the Janes were gauze to keep from swallowing gnats, accidentally, and so forth. Yet even when I would not, the closed eyes on a chipmunk's severed head reproach me from the terrace stones. Painful offering left by the cat I would befriend. At times she leaves a sparrow's wing. And there are others, the snake I killed to save a shrieking frog, and one distracted deer mouse mother evicted when I moved a frame. It makes a difference. I regret being only half a predator, doomed to kill but understand, while they have only to survive. Still, it enriches me, though it is not what I might wish. In this cooling hour... My melancholy mounts as steadily and as meandering high as these fluff gnats, cotton aphids, mere points of white in this dark space beneath the trees. Soundlessly they rise and aimlessly aspire till through some leafy break the staining sun transforms them to asterisks 
of fire. Now that was written a long time ago, the one that, uh, that really uh, a point of realization. I don't know how much time we've got left here, but uh, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, well, go on. Well, I don't know. Go ahead, go ahead and read a little bit more. Yeah. But, uh, well, this is part of a morning prayer which I read, but I can do something a lot shorter. Okay, do something real short because uh, yeah. I'm not sure. This one is my attempt to set up a shield for to represent our human species, mankind. And it's called escutcheon, which means a shield. And it uses two terms, jewels, G-U-L-E-S, which is a red ray on the shield or a stripe. And it, the bar sinister or bend sinister, which is a black one on the on the, the, the shield. Go, Go or stop. Go ahead. The device itself is simple enough. No jewels or sinister bars. Just wandering brazen question marks within a field of stars. The ground can be the black of space with a brilliant border of light. Splashed with the azure and gold of sea and sky at eve, and flecked with blood for the deeds we've done, and for those we grieve. Thank you, John Ross Rule. <laughs> You're certainly welcome. See you it's, next week, I hope. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs>